Which one is better, a saltwater pool or a chlorine pool? Saltwater pools tend to have gentler, smoother water than other pools, and you only need to add salt once or twice a year to keep things sanitized. But you're still technically swimming in a pool with chlorine, and saltwater generators are expensive to buy and more complicated to maintain. So before you switch to a saltwater system, here's everything you need to know about saltwater pools versus chlorine pools. Let's dive in. Real quick before we continue, if you want more help taking care of your pool, be sure to grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. It's totally free and will help keep your pool clean and clear all season long. First, what is a saltwater pool? A saltwater pool uses a saltwater generator, also known as a salt chlorine generator, to convert salt to chlorine. That's right, a saltwater pool still sanitizes your water with chlorine. But instead of buying and adding chlorine tablets or granules to your water, you're buying and adding pool grade salt. And that salt is used by the saltwater generator to make chlorine. And that salt stays in the water, getting recycled and reused by the generator as it continues to maintain your chlorine levels. Again, this is not an alternative to a chlorine pool. It's just a different process of making chlorine. So what are the benefits of a saltwater pool? Here are a few reasons why a saltwater system is a great investment. One, you add salt to the water instead of adding chlorine. Handling pool grade salt is a lot safer and easier than chlorine pucks or granules. And as the saltwater generator uses the salt to produce chlorine, the salt gets recycled back into the water and reused again. That means you usually only add salt at the beginning of pool season or if a heavy rainstorm dilutes your pool water. You're not constantly buying, adding, and adjusting your levels like you need with chlorine. And pool grade salt is much cheaper and simpler to buy than chlorine. A saltwater pool can be worth it just to never have to add chlorine again. Two, the water is gentler and smoother. Saltwater pools have a smoother, silkier water. Some people who are normally irritated by chlorine pools find saltwater pools to be much gentler. Three, the chlorine levels stay stable. Because the saltwater generator monitors and releases a slow, steady output of chlorine, the chlorine levels stay consistent. And since the chlorine levels are consistent, saltwater pools can avoid problems like algae and cloudy water. Fewer drops in chlorine levels also means fewer chloramines, which is a chlorine byproduct that causes that nasty chlorine-like smell in pools. However, there are downsides to a saltwater pool. One, it's an expensive initial investment it can cost several thousand dollars to convert a chlorine pool to a saltwater system. That includes purchasing the saltwater generator itself and the labor to install it. Two, the saltwater generator maintenance is more complex and expensive. Saltwater generators and the salt cells inside need to be inspected and cleaned regularly. And you'll need to replace your salt cell every three to seven years, which can cost another few hundred dollars. While you won't need to constantly buy chlorine tablets or granules, you will need to use more electricity to keep your saltwater generator running and producing chlorine. And if you ever need any major repair or maintenance to your system, you'll likely need to hire a specialized professional. Three, it's not totally hands-free. While it's easy to get excited about never having to manually add chlorine to your water again, you'll still need to perform regular pool maintenance checks on your water and your saltwater system. This includes regularly testing your water, especially your pH. pH tends to drift higher in saltwater pools, and pH above 7.6 can lead to skin irritation, burning eyes, and scaling on your pool equipment. Four, saltwater generators don't work in colder temperatures. These systems won't produce chlorine if your water is 60 degrees Fahrenheit or below. So if you're in a colder climate without a heater, your chlorine production will stop when the temperature drops too low. Five, it can corrode pool parts. While salt water isn't harmful in average doses, it can start to break down equipment if it starts to build up. Automatic pool covers, pool liners, metal pool equipment, and even natural stonework near the pool can start to erode with too much salt water exposure. So, is a salt water pool worth it? You won't need to constantly buy an chlorine to your water. It's gentler on your skin and eyes with a softer, silkier feel and your chlorine levels will remain stable, keeping your water sanitized. But it has a higher initial investment and comes with ongoing maintenance costs. You may experience chronically high pH levels. You'll need to monitor your saltwater generator 
and the salt water may corrode some pool fixtures. Given the lifespan of a saltwater generator and how often you'll need to repair or replace parts, you'll probably spend the same as you would maintaining a chlorine pool, but it's worth it for a better swimming experience and never having to handle chlorine tablets ever again. If you need more help with pool maintenance, grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. And if you found this video helpful, leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe for more pool maintenance tutorials throughout the season. That's it. Thanks again and happy swimming.